Welcome to the Pokemon Uprising. I'm your leader, the Defiant One, aka Sharp the Queen Four, and today I am bringing you the second episode of our Pokemon Light Platinum Wedlock. So last episode, what we did was we did all of the story crap, really. It, essentially, we just did story crap. Uh, we defeated a Team Steam Grunt, and now we have been ordered. Ordered. We have no choice. We can't go anywhere else until we get this shit done. We can't go anywhere else until. Another female, wow. We can't go anywhere else until we um, go talk to Professor Oak at Marfeni Lake. So as of now, we have Pyromaniac level 13 and Elekid at level 6. These two are paired together. I'm looking for the next male Pokemon to add to my team, which will be paired with Growlithe. I already have a Fire-type Pokemon, but... I will make do with Growlithe if, like, it really means, like, it can make all the difference. I do have an Ultra Ball now, so I can catch something on this route, actually. And I already know what I want to catch on this route, and I really, really, really hope that it is, in fact, okay. Pokemon should always be fit and ready for battle. Okay, thanks for the advice, girl. Okay, Ember for days. That's all I'm gonna say, Ember for days. Let's go into Elekid. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leer. And my quick attacks are faster than yours, man. And I can only switch between Pyromaniac and Elekid, unfortunately. Okay, let's go back and went into Blitzel. Big mistake on my part. But, I mean, the more experience the Elekid gets, the better. And Spiro, okay. Let's go for Thief. Quick attack should finish it off, and it's a crit anyway. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so let's get a move on. Let's get oh, this guy. I can walk around you, but I mean, I could really use the experience. So let's go. Stunky, say hello to my Ember. You got burned, man. You go you better need a you're going to need a burn heal. I can't even get memes right for like seriously. <sighs> what a great start to this episode. What a great start to this episode. And I really, I, I just asked you guys in the comments section what I should name Elekid. Thanks. Now I can only switch into Pyromaniac. Wow. That is ridiculous. And you're gonna go into Shinx. I can't switch out, even with the poison. This is, okay. Come on. Come on. Kill, kill, yes! And Pyromaniac is evolving. And we have ourselves a Charmeleon already. This is insane, man. Insane. So as a matter of fact, the way that this is going to work now, the way that this is going to work is since he lost his partner. Um, okay, can I make it back to the Pokemon Center without her death? It, like I said, it doesn't really matter. I'm not letting them die this early in the game due to poison and shit like that. I think that's really stupid, personally. But that might just be me. And he's about to die any second now. Just you wait. He's gonna die. Yeah, Pyromaniac fainted. I'm not gonna let them die because of something stupid like that. Like, come on. Let's be realistic here. So I'm going to restore my Pokemon to full health. I'm going to have to box Elekid. I think it's I am a very I'm a very reckless player if you haven't figured that out already It's only the second episode five minutes into the second episode, and I already lost one of my Pokemon Which is ridiculous. Okay. I'm gonna put you over here This is going to be the death box And uh, There we go. That's fine. Okay, so you're a male. Oh, I have a moo moo milk on this guy. Wow. I'm not just going to repair the other one up with Growlithe. I'm not going to make it work that way, because I think that's kind of dumb. I don't even think it works that way anyway. But, hmm, I think I should run to the store. I'm going to speed up this process, because, I mean, we did pretty much everything we need to do here. No big deal. Okay, let's buy. Let's see what else. Okay, I'm taking a couple of these, and a couple of these, and not another Paralyzed Heal. I don't want another Paralyzed Heal. Give me Awakenings. And potions. Thank you. Stock up on everything. And you know what? Before I forget, I'm gonna take this Moo Moo Milk away from him. Okay, come on. 
Let's get a move on. So we have another scripted sequence. My god, this game is riddled with them. She can't tell. Be bash orange season. They appear by the thousands at this time of year. Although they are brave, they rarely attack people and rarely appear at other times. Very interesting, Professor. Thanks for the tip. I think I'll try and catch one. He has a really high voice. Man, the Feebas are going crazy. They are just wild. This is an event, as a matter of fact, which is awesome. Okay. Wow, amazing, Professor. I've fallen in love with these Pokemon. Bestiality, people. Bestiality. I'll catch one right now. Go, Pokeball. Okay. So he caught one already. Wow, I captured a Feebas. Looks like a good Pokemon. And another one is going to attack. What? This Feebas is attacking me. Phoebus. Okay, for those of you who have pronunciation issues with Feebas, Phoebus, I, I'm not particular. I might say one and then the other like immediately. Professor, I'll save you. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. It's another se scripted sequence. I don't even need to do the walking. Man, this music. Just listen to this music. This is crazy music. It's a female, so it is perfect for Pyromaniac. It is a water type, so it will counteract some of the weaknesses. I'm not going to immediately, like... Okay, how am I going to go about this? Because I'm going to kill it. One Ultra Ball. Please. It's level three. Please. One. Two. Three. Yes! Holy shit, that was close. That scared me, man. We have a new partner for Pyromaniac after its divorce. And I forgot to read the Pokedex entry, but that won't hurt. Feebas's nickname, Phoebus. Feebas. Okay, so... What am I gonna name this thing? Should I name it Moody? Because, I mean, it is her mascot, after all. But I do want to come up with something more original. Um... Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm I'm lame, but I really loved my uh, the Little Mermaid. I really did. Thank you. It's Brady. Professor Jasmine asked asked me to tell you that she is doing important research on the creation of the universe and needs your help. She wants to show her uh, you her results. She's in her lab in Yellowtown. Thank you, Brady. Oh, no, I can't even switch over voices. Thank you, Brady. I'll head there right away. Oh, and this is my nephew, Kenta. Nice to meet you, Brady. You look like a skilled Pokemon trainer. I hope I'll face you myself someday. I'll say the same thing to you. Well, I'll be on my way now. Thanks, Brady. Goodbye. Goodbye, old man. Goodbye. And I also know for another freebie, because they did change some things in this game, because the way, the method of getting my Lodic or my Lodic, however you pronounce that, in the original Ruby and Sapphire was completely retarded. I don't know why they did it that way, but they changed it so that it evolves with a Water Stone now, which I think is excellent. Phoebe, Phoebus doesn't really learn anything important, so I'm just going to let it evolve into a Milotic right away. Ariel evolved into my Lotic. And that's that. It doesn't really know any moves, does it? I only know Splash. I'm gonna have to cycle train. But now, this is Pyromaniac's new partner, Ariel. So let's get a move on. Is this guy a trainer? I'm this guy. Okay, no, he's definitely not here. So let's. Let's keep on moving. I really, really, uh, there's nothing up there of value. We could train here for a little while. Um, I do, however, want to go get Pokeballs. But there are no Pokeballs here to buy. I think that is so stupid. There are no Pokeballs here to buy. I think everything that I have is at full health, actually. So I think... Well, really, all that I can do now... Oh, I do remember I need to do something in here. There is something important in here. Amulet coin. There it is. That's what I was looking for. You really need this for this game. Either that or you will be broke. Like, big time. 
Okay, since Ariel is going to be switch trained, it's guaranteed that Ariel is going to be used. I am going to... Can... I'm going to go this way. I'm just going to go back to Yellow Town, I would say. Um... But, like, back to this game. I think that he did an amazing job with this game. Okay, okay, okay. Faster I get there, the better. Okay. Yellow Town, here I come. Yellow Town, here I am. That was quick. Um, okay, so let's just walk up here. Professor Jasmine is here. There's not a scripted sequence, so that's really all I can do. I got here before Professor Oak. Uh, I mean, they're really slow. Hi, Professor Oak. Welcome to my lab. Thanks, Professor Jasmine. Brady told me I had to come here quickly, so I'm here to learn about your research. Ye yes, Professor, with Brady's help, I've been studying nature and writings about the creation of the universe. I said that Arceus has created the world and all the Pokemon. Incredible! This actually related to my latest research into Pokemon DNA. Seems all species have the same small trait in common. Yes, Professor, right now that's all I know. I'll send you the full document on CD. Okay, Professor Jasmine, I'm going to my research center in Jerry, Central City's radio tower. Let me know immediately if you have any problems. Okay. Man, switching over these voices is, is actually, like, pretty easy to screw them all up. Like, the transitions are crazy. Good job, Brady. I've registered you in the Jerry League. Now you can fight the gym leaders and become a powerful trainer. Congratulations and take care. Team Steam's Steam will be after you. Yeah, I'm very aware that I put a big red target on my back, and you know what? I'm not afraid in the slightest, because Team Steam are a bunch of pushovers. So let's get a move on. Let's see what we cannot accomplish in the run of this episode. I think that we won't accomplish much, since we went all the way to the lake anyway. And we really got no encounters throughout that entire route. That is insane. That is amazing. I love it. I love it. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, 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 there's an item over here. Wormpool can't do anything against Wormpool. So, Ember is goodbye. A rare candy. Ooh, yes. Elevator to level four. Come on, let's go. And another encounter. So, I'm just going to use Pyromaniac for this one. I mean, the fact that it's paired with Pyromaniac makes life so much easier. Okay. Okay, where do I go? Radio Tower. I need to go to the radio tower, that's right. I almost forgot. Is this the radio tower? Yes, it is. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. And here we are. Hey, Brady. I'm glad you came to my research center. I have a gift for you and Kenta. It's the National Dex, which can you can use to refine and record data on Pokemon during your journey. Okay. Receive a national test. Well, can't I, Brady? Now with this tool, you can go on a magnificent journey through the Sherry League. Good luck to both of you. Thanks, Professor. I'll be sure to train hard. Goodbye, Brady. One day we'll have a great battle. Okay. Can I get lost? Okay, so... Brady, just by looking at you, I can see you have great potential as a Pokemon trainer. I'm going to let you choose one of these three rare Pokemon to help you on your quest. Do you want Chikorita? Uh, considering what Pokemon I have... Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe? Because I have two fire types, a water type. A grass type would be nice right now, actually. And it is kind of bulky, so let's go with a Chikorita. Screw it. Brady received a Chikorita. Chikorita is a Pokemon that is rare and difficult to encounter. Only a few people will ever get one. You are lucky. And I still can't name it. Man, there's a city later in this game with a name raider, but it just sucks that a lot of these event Pokemon just, like, you cannot automatically name them immediately after receiving them. I think that's a little bit out there. But anyway, we are making some progress. Blah, blah, blah. And now Growlithe and Chikorita are paired up. So we have a water fire and a grass fire. I think there's nothing wrong with that at all. So, I think we should... I'll probably think of names in between episodes rather than let you guys choose the names from now on because, I mean, eh, after that whole scenario with Elekid, I think it would really be a waste, don't you? But anyway, we're on Route 402, and now we're going to get some battles in. 
Venipede for days, man. I wish I could just like grind off of Venipedes because the levels are crazy. Come on, Ariel, let's go. I learned rap, but I'm still not gonna bother with that because that's just like a lot of unnecessary effort. I'm probably gonna grind between next episode. Okay, okay, come on, come on, let's do this. Okay, level 17. Well, that was easy. Okay, I'm gonna fight. Okay, well, I mean, that guy doesn't have any Pokemon on him. Which I think is weird, because they were fighting just a second ago. That's so dumb. Wow. I actually think that I'm gonna make this a shorter episode, because I really need to grind. Um, I'm probably gonna put this at the very... I'm gonna put the grinding montage at the end of the episode, so I can just start it without a grinding montage next episode. So, yeah, that'll, that'll be pretty much it for this episode here. And after this, we'll be grinding until the video is over. So, if you want to enlist in Rebellion, all you have to do is sucker punch that subscribe button, and heck, sucker punch that like button. Every little bit will help. And I will be back with bigger and better Pokemon videos, so until next time, you guys.